I became a millionaire at 23 years old. I'm 24 now. And a lot of people say leaving your hometown is the hack to making a lot of money, seeing a lot of success, etc. Now, I'll break it down. The reason why that is is because you get to recreate yourself in an environment where you don't get judgment. The reason why that's so important with judgment is because your thoughts create your actions and your actions create your habits and your habits create your future, right? We've all heard that before, but it's very true. And oftentimes when you're starting something new, when you're trying to recreate yourself, when you're trying to implant a new identity, because you have to be someone you've never been in order to get things that you've never had. When you're doing that, it can be hard for the people around you to adjust. And so you get these judgments around you, you get this doubt from family, from friends, you get this just kind of negative energy thrown at you that causes you to doubt yourself, therefore changes your thoughts, which changes your um, actions, which change your habits, which change your future. And so it's a big line. And so I will say, yeah, it's a huge hack, right? Or you can just distance yourself from all of your friends. I had a big falling out with one of like my only friends um, right before I got rich. And I don't think it was a coincidence that I got rich like after we split apart. Because even if you're still around them and they don't like necessarily judge you, there's still gonna be things in their lifestyle with how they think, with how they are, that rub off on you almost subconsciously, their work ethic, the way that they view the world, etc. And so when you are building yourself up and you're recreating your own world as you know it, you only need your own feedback loop uh, for a period of time right because we don't want to become delusional right when you when you when you're only operating in your own feedback loop for a long time you're like a lone wolf you don't go outside okay that's when you start to become delusional but there's a period where you need to craft yourself where you almost need to find yourself again and then create yourself how you want to create yourself authentically and as raw as possible without any outside judgment from family or friends and i can say confidently almost every successful person that i know they had a period where they completely distanced themselves from friends and family because you just don't have time or the mental capacity to hear what they think about your life, what they think you should be doing. Why are you doing this? Come hang out with us. There should be times where, like even recently when I've been doing music and that's something that I'm very passionate about, right? Um, when I'm working really hard, I've had friends today here tell me things like, um, you know, you should hang out with us or there's got to be times where you take a break or something to that effect. And I'm thinking like, this is just a replay of what's happened in my past. Like they just don't get it. They don't understand what I'm striving towards. And that's because they're comfortable and I'm not. I'm trying to build something else, trying to build something great. And it's so interesting. And that's why I wanted to make this video again, because it's come up into my life again. And so I just find it that if you can't move out of your hometown right now, the next best thing to do is to distance yourself from those friends as much as you can. What I did was like, I kind of was forced, so I moved away from my roommate and my friend that I was living with, and I just moved away into an apartment, and it was just me and my girlfriend. Now, my girlfriend at the time, it was, I never got any bad feedback from her. She kind of, she really let me do what I, what I do because she trusted me. And so whatever I did, however I pivoted the 3 a.m. nights, she was never like coming to bed, blah, blah, blah. So she was really great in that aspect. So I never really had anything with her. It was just the outside friends, the family. I hadn't talked to like father, mother really in a long time. Um, I had to really just go into a hole and like build myself up. And it was the best thing I did. I actually didn't move out of my hometown until after I made it. And so it's crazy how life changes because I'll tell you in the span of, okay, in the span, like two months after I moved out from my friend, cut off friends. And now at this point, I don't have any real friends or family. It's just my girlfriend. Two months after that, I made like my first $10,000 in a month, right? And then the following three months after that two months, so five months total, five and a half months, I ended up making... $50,000 in a single month, $100,000 in under two months. Life changed. And it's because I was able to like recreate myself from the ground up. 
and surround myself with who I wanted to surround myself by. And that wasn't anyone close by, it was with the content I was, I was taking in, the books I was reading, et cetera, and really just giving myself permission to take ruthless action ruthless nonstop action without and i had no outside influence no questioning no come hang out with us no little things like that it was just i was on a mission and it was boom 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 boom, boom. nothing would deter me from that mission and it was the best thing ever so the mechanics behind why moving out of your hometown is so good can be replicated by just distancing yourself from friends and family it doesn't have to be as dramatic as a full cutoff, but that distance is gonna be incredibly necessary for three to six months. It doesn't mean you go cold turkey, but again, be very, very purposeful with how you spend your time. Very intentional, okay? Keep things under wraps. Just blinders on, go all in. That's something that, you know, I wish you know, I knew earlier because for some reason I always had that drive. I was always able to improve whenever I wanted to, etc., with like my friends and family stuff around. But I never knew why I couldn't seem to break out. I couldn't seem to just break out, you know, the bubble. And, you know, God is good all the time. And when I had that break off from that one friend, which kind of like, you know, spiraled into a break off of like all friends sprawled into a break off from pretty much family as well where I didn't really even visit them that much because I was kind of like it was sad and I was just like locked in I'm like F it I'm about to I'm about to just figure something out that's when everything clicked and now looking in retrospect I'm able to understand why things click so well because our surroundings are incredibly important and I'm telling you if that's not something that you've audited yet it might be the key to getting where you need to go in the next six months because it takes it takes literally three months to change your life but six months really to cement it to something that not just changes your life in the moment but changes your life forever because a lot of people they get on and then they fall off right as quick as they get on so that's just my two cents on it coming from someone who at 20 years old was making like $2,200 a month to now 24 making like a lot of money per month. I don't want to say it on camera, but high uh, five figures. That was one key thing that I wish I knew earlier at like 18, 19. I hope this helps.